Today I'm going to show you how to invest in real estate with only $10,000 from anywhere in the world. And before you go, ah, screw this, just another clickbait guru. No, 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 no. Give me a couple moments of your time and really pay attention to what I'm telling you. And I assure you, this video will be different than anybody else out there who starts a video off telling you they can teach you how to invest for 10K. Just give me a few minutes of your time. That's all I ask. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. Today I'm showing investors how to invest anywhere in the world with 10 grand, right? 10 grand. And I'm doing so specifically for my man Pablo, investor from Buenos Aires, Argentina, right? I'm out here in the Cleveland, Ohio market in the United States of America, bro. You are not in Ohio, you're not in Cleveland, you're not even in America, right? You're all the way out there in Argentina. And that's okay. Because my team is set up. And unlike other people who start videos off on the internet telling you that they could teach you how to invest in real estate for 10K, I am not here selling a book, selling a course, taking your money, giving you the strategy that works on paper but not necessarily in the real world. No, 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 no. I'm doing things differently, folks. I'm going to bring up a real property that's available that you can purchase. I'm going to help you purchase it. I will act as your real estate consultant, broker, property manager, general contractor, insurance agent, plumber, HVAC tech, the whole nine, right? We don't just give you theory, take your money, then leave. No. Holton Wise is your boots on the ground team working with you in the markets where properties like this make sense. And we are the people physically on site, on the ground. When there is a turd clog in your toilet, the guy who's got a friggin' plunger in that thing is going to be wearing a Holton Wise logoed shirt. I assure you, right? And it's not all gravy. There's pros, there's cons, there's good, there's bad, right? The rental game, it's done very well for me. But that doesn't mean, folks, it doesn't mean that it's all milk and honey. It ain't. There's some problems, okay? And we talk about all those here. And as far as you go, Pablo, recently, I did a video just like this for you, brother. You loved it. You loved that property. You put a bid on that property. You put a bid on that property that was more than what the seller was even asking. You went above and beyond list price. And you didn't get it. You didn't get the fucking deal. Somebody else got the deal. I don't know if anybody else is out there explaining this to you folks, but that's what fucking happens, okay? This is real estate investing. It is a numbers game. Every video I do for you, Pablo, it's not going to result in a sold deal, right? I break these down and present to you the properties with the price I want you to pay, okay? The price that the deal makes sense for you. But the sellers, they don't work for you. They don't work for Pablo, right? They are trying to get the best deal for them, right? So they're trying to sell it for the most money possible, right? So not every deal is going to work. Me and you, we're trying to get the best deal. They're trying to get the best deal. Every dollar you make is a the dollar they lose, vice versa, right? But if you stick with me, brother, and we do the proper due diligence, I assure you we are going to get some W's, and those L's, they're not a big deal because losing out on a deal by not overpaying for it is much better than getting a bad deal that you overpaid for. And that's what I'm here for. That's what I help you do, folks. That's the commitment you get from me and my team. So after this video, by the way, if anybody else wants to work with me the same way Pablo is, this is my email address. Send us your number. Somebody on my team will call you and talk to you about how you can get to be exactly where my man Pablo is. Now, what we're going to do, 
We're going to quit talking about the process. We're going to get down to the nuts and bolts now. We're going to talk about the actual numbers on the actual deal. Talk about what's going on with this property. Talk about the city. Talk about the things you need to know, Pablo, to see if the deal makes sense for you. And we're going to get into all that right after this. You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America, that's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and start investing today. Welcome back. Let's do the damn thing. Let's do what we are here to do, right? We are here to get into the details on this property because anybody can talk to you about how cool it is to invest in real estate. We got a property here only requires $10,000, but we have to get into why that is. Why is this property so cheap? What are the levels of risk involved with this particular property? What's the good? What's the bad? What's the neighborhood like? What's my ownership experience going to be like? That's what it's all about, okay? Now, the address, 1100 West 12th Lorraine. It's been on the market almost a month, 26 days, priced at 43 grand. Now, you could do this deal for 10 grand if everything goes the way I want it to. And the way that would be is the price, I think we try to pick it up for $40,000. You are going to put up $10,000. And then I have lenders that are going to give you, well, loan you. They ain't giving you that shit, motherfuckers. You're going to pay them back, right? You're going to pay them back the other 30 k But here's the best part. Your tenants are really the ones who are paying it back, right? You put up 10, the bank puts up 30, your tenant pays you rent to pay off the 30 plus the interest and you collect cash flow. It's an amazing thing. The way this should work, the numbers, right? Market rent, $1,000 a month, 12000 a year. You don't get to keep that twelve k a year. Anybody telling you you do, they're lying or they don't know what they're doing, folks. There's fixed and variable expense estimates you need to account for, which I have done for you in that chart. What you can reasonably expect to earn is approximately fifty seven seventy three a year. Now, if we pick it up at forty k, you put down ten thousand dollars. Bank kicks in thirty. That will project out to a fourteen point four cap or a forty three percent cash on cash return right where else can you get a 43 percent cash on cash return right that's why holton wise is so popular that's why investing in this market is so popular it's very hard to get returns like that for that small amount of money but that's not where the video ends okay if i ended the video right there with that it just sounds amazing and then the smart folks out there are like whoa Bro, that's fucking great. Why the fuck has this property been on the market for 26 days and nobody else has bought it yet, right? See, if you're the person out there who's thinking that, you're smart, right? Because we've got to do due diligence, understand why. Cleveland's a cool market, man, but it ain't the fucking land of milk and honey, right? Dude, like, there's pros and cons to this, right? Well, you have to understand about what you're getting into here, right? This particular house, which, by the way, we only have one photo. This photo right here. That's it. We have active tenants in there, right? They're already living there. It's hard to get uh, tenants to comply with, like, people going inside of their properties, taking photos, right? So don't uh, think the listing agent is trying to hide something for you, from you, right? I don't think they are. It's possible they might be, right? Unlikely, but it's possible. But we're going to figure that out through the due diligence, right? This video, this video is just step one of the due diligence process. We're going to, of course, make our offer of $40,000 contingent on a third-party home inspection where we'll go through the property with a fine-tooth comb. But I know I get a lot of people out there that are like, oh, they must be hiding something. No, you're just new to the rental game. You don't understand, bro. Tenants, like, they're not, like, just down to make your life easy. They don't want people bothering them in their house, right? They live there. Not to mention we're going through corona, right? It makes it even harder. So this is normal. Inside of this home, do I anticipate everything is beautiful? No, 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 no. But you don't renovate occupied properties, folks. That rent that I gave you that kicks off the 43% cash on cash return long term, that's not what the current tenant's paying, but don't get caught up in that, right? The current tenant... They're paying seven and a quarter plus uh, water, right? So they're paying 800. But if you looked at the chart, which I'll pop the chart up again, charts up again, as you see water and sewer, we have you paying the water and sewer. 
Uh, the way things work out here in this market, it just makes more sense from a liability standpoint if you cover the cost of water and sewer. You can't really pass it on to the tenants. More info on why is in our fact, right? So right now, you're effectively getting a tenant in there at 800 as opposed to 1000 do you get to just increase the rent to a thousand when you take over? No. Can you legally do it? Yeah. They're month to month, so if we give them a thirty day notice, you can do that. But guys, it's not how it works, right? Every action's gonna have a reaction, right? If you just immediately jack up the tenant's rent, they're probably gonna move out. And if they move out, well guess what? Now you gotta renovate the inside of this house. We don't know what it looks like, but I'm telling you it's it's not moving ready to get a $1,000 a month tenant in there tomorrow. That's not how it works. You don't have $40,000 rentals where you get in there after a tenant moves out. It's fucking spick and span, dude. If you believe that, you need to watch more of my shows. You need to watch the Tenants from Hell show because that's not reality, right? You're probably going to be putting in ten, fifteen, 15 possibly $20,000 to get it rocking, ready, beautiful, Section 8 ready to go. Then we can bring in uh, the Section 8 tenants, right, and get that 1000 Right now, though... Not the case, right? But that's okay. We don't need to worry about increasing the rent that 200 a month. What we want to do right now is ride out these paying tenants as long as we can. Money is coming in the door. If money's coming in the door, your job as a landlord is to collect it. Put that fucking shit in your pocket, okay? I get so many of you new investors out there who want to send money out here to buy a property and then the next thing you want to do is figure out how you could just send more money out to the cleveland market for your property bro i love money i will take you guys's money every day of the week right but it's not the smartest move right here's the deal two hundred dollars a month one way or the other it's not going to make or break your career as a real estate investor okay What's going to make or break your career as a real estate investor? What's going to really make this a performing asset versus a non-performing asset? Is how often you have to do $10,000 rehabs or $4,000 turns or miss three months of rent between vacancy, the turnover time, and the releasing time, right? And then paying the leasing fee, right? It'll probably amount to around three months of missed income there, right? You want to avoid that stuff. You can never not have it. That's part of the business, right? But it's those investors who mitigate that, deal with that as infrequently as possible that make the most money, right? So we don't want to create an artificial turnover. So we want to ride the existing tenants as long as possible. Maybe next year increase the rent 25, maybe 50, right? Ride them out. You want to push back that next turnover reno as long as you possibly can, right? In this neighborhood... This is like a CD grade neighborhood, right? So we are not dealing typically with like two adults with college degrees moving in your houses, folks. Not the case, right? Section 8 is amazing in neighborhoods like this. It's your friend, right? Because neighborhoods like this, when people run into life problems, they're like one broken down car away from missing rent, right? These are not people that have six months of savings in their bank account, right? That's not the type of tenant base you're going to get when you buy a $40,000 property. And that's not for everybody, right? I know a lot of people out there just think, because maybe they live in like LA and they just think everybody in Cleveland lives in $40,000 houses. It's not the case, bro. Like we have expensive houses in this market too, but we also have a lot of really low cost houses that you can't get in a lot of markets. But you have to understand what the market's like, what that really means. And that's what we do, and I think I've done a very good job of explaining that to you. I factor in a lot of those issues, right, which is why you don't get to keep the 12K, right? You're spending more than half of that to pay me to operate this property and to just pay for the costs that come along uh, with running a property like that. But over the long haul, this should cook off a hell of a return. You just got to follow the steps that I've laid out for you, make smart decisions, and don't be in a hurry to try to send money out here. Collect the money while it's coming in. Take the money you currently have and focus it on another deal, right? You only need 10K to get into this deal. Spend your 10K, get into the deal. Take that $800 that's coming in currently 
And instead of trying to kick out that income source, create an artificial turnover, take your next 10K and duplicate this deal, man. That's what this game is about. It's about a game of scale. You want to get to a lot of doors quickly because when you have your inevitable problems with these properties, your performing assets are going to uh, create income while one or two of your properties go through uh, the normal stages of investing where they're, they're costing you money for a brief period of time. Because that, folks, that's the rental game in a nutshell. And then my team will handle everything for you, the property management, the maintenance, all that jazz. But first, it starts with us putting in an offer, submitting an offer to the seller. And I think 40 k is the right price. I believe we will be able to get them to accept that then we will do our due diligence make sure they're not trying to hide anything make sure there's no structural repairs if there's some crazy thing that happens in that inspection report letting us know the property is a dud that's what i'm here for letting you know hey we need to back out of this deal or hey it no longer makes sense at 40k let me try to get the seller to give us 5k 10k 15k off things of that nature Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.